Okay, I'm gonna walk through steps 21 through 30 of Freed Code Camp's new responsive web designs second project, learn basic CSS by building a cafe menu. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a div element. So it's just a divider and this is, it's kind of similar to section except um, we usually use um, div elements to um, make um, formatting and layout purposes, uh, for layout purposes, really. So we're gonna add this div um, uh, around everything inside the body. Um, and because uh, we just added this new element, we have to, we gotta indent everything else. Oops, let's just indent that by two spaces. And so this is gonna help make our HTML a little easier to read. Um, and so as you can see, everything inside the body is indented by one, inside everything inside this div is indented by, or, well, it's really, it's two spaces, one tab. Um, in this case, the tab equals two spaces. Um, everything inside the header, um, and you can kind of just kind of see how that indentation um, works. It's not necessary, but you really should, should do it. Um, so next, we're gonna add, um, we're gonna make the everything inside the div a certain width, um, and so, we're gonna just make it 300 pixels. And so now it's, um, the formatting is a little bit different. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna make some other changes around here. Um, so the first one, we're just gonna learn about the comment. Okay, so if we do a slash and then an asterisk, that's the first comment. And then we can do a asterisk and then another slash and then that ends the comment. So everything's the same now except there's just no color. Um, and so you can also, um, just like in HTML, you can make comments. It's, it doesn't affect how this, it, or it, it just, uh, if you comment something out, it's not shown here, but someone could um, look at the source code and see, oh, that's a comment and kind of understand. Maybe you could explain what's going on, or if there's a problem, you could comment out a section that maybe um, is causing some issues. So we're gonna use the div, uh, uh, the div element. Um, we're gonna make that colored but not everything inside the body so that's why we just commented out this in the body and here or see yeah you can uh, do it on different lines as well um, and here just this div element so you can see oh the div is just right here and that's that's what's colored so next what we're gonna do is instead of using pixels we're gonna actually use percentage so we wanted to make it 80% wide so 80% of the screen so it just depends on I'll, I'll change um, this and it should it see how it stretches. It always keeps 20% of whatever width this is, is right here. Um, but it takes up the other 80%. So as we change the size of the screen, it's always gonna be 80%. Um, pixels is more stagnant. Um, okay, next we're gonna make, we want it to be centered. So we're gonna do margin left auto and then margin so it's only going to work if we also do margin right auto so it's just going to fill out the remaining space and so both of them are going to talk to each other and figure out okay i'm going to take this part i'm going to take this part margin left margin right and now our div is right in the middle okay and so now we're actually going to learn about classes so classes are really used um all over css they're really fundamental so you could be a little more specific than maybe not every div do i want to make the background color burly wood and make it 80 percent wide and centered using margin left and margin right so instead what we can do is use a class so classes always start with a period and this one we're going to call menu so we're going to do dot period and that instead of um uh affecting every um, div is going to affect everything with the class menu right now. That's nothing, but we're going to set it right now We're going to add an attribute to this div called class and we're going to set it to menu So now it, it looks the same, but it's a little bit easier to style that CSS So next um, instead of background color inside of the body we want everything inside the body to actually have a background image So what we're going to do is we can type URL and then inside these parentheses, we can actually just put this link. And right here, it's some coffee beans. I'm gonna put that in right there. Make sure we put that semicolon at the end. And there we go, we have a background of coffee beans. Everything inside the body element. Okay, next, uh, we're gonna get started on a new section um, or uh, add some menu items actually. So we're gonna add an empty article element. There you go. 